So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the comparison test for doing improper integrals. But first, let's talk a little bit about what the comparison test says. First off, we're going to assume our function is positive. We do need that as, to be able to use the comparison test. And it says if f of x is greater than 0 but less than g of x, then the integral from a to infinity of g of x converges then we can say that f of x converges. So first, let's look at that situation. So, in this situation, what we have is we have our function g of x, and in this case it's nice to think about it as area. So our function g of x going from a to infinity, so we'll put in a here. So here's g of x. Now if we can prove that it is always greater than f of x, then if g of x converges, then f of x must converge. To make sense of this, think of it in terms of area. If we can calculate the area underneath g of x, and f of x is smaller, then we can definitely calculate the area under f of x. So, one thing to remember is you can only use the convergent improper integral to show convergence and you have to show that the one you're testing is less than it. Now for divergence it's fairly a fairly similar idea and we will use a very similar drawing. Now in this case g of x is the one we're using to test so there's g of x and f of x is now our larger function. Well, if g of x is divergent, in other words, if we can't calculate the area under g of x, and f of x is bigger than it, there's no way we can calculate the area underneath g of x. So that's the idea behind the comparison test, and it's really important to remember. You can only use a divergent improper integral to test for divergence, and you have to show the one you're testing is larger than the one you're using. Now, there's going to be some basic ones that we know. For instance, whenever we get an integral of the form 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the p dx, we know that this is going to converge if p is greater than 1 and diverge if p is less than or equal to 1. So that's a very common one we use in using the comparison test. It's really easy to test that. Now let's go ahead and run an example and see how we use this. So we're going to try and show the convergence or divergence of the integral of 1 to infinity of dx over square root of x cubed plus 3x squared. So what you want to do is you want to get an idea of what your function looks like. With polynomials, what we do is we can say, well, it's dominated by its lead term. So x cubed dominates the denominator. So this thing's going to act very similar to 1 over square root of x cubed. So we need to think about what square root of x cubed does. Well, we know that the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x to the 3 halves dx converges. We just saw that on our previous slide. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare these two and let's one way to handle these is to start with what you need to show. We need to show, well we are going to be comparing 1 over the square root of x cubed with 1 over the square root of x cubed plus 3x squared. And now because this is a convergence and we're trying to show convergence, we need to show that the one we're testing is less than or equal to. So this is our goal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work backwards, which is why I left this space. 
So first thing, we want to work backwards till we get back to an obvious step. So the first thing that I notice, well, if I flip both of these, I get square root of x cubed plus 3x squared. And now if I flip this side, I get square root of x cubed. Remember, if you flip fractions, that flips the inequality. <clears throat> this seems to be true, but we can actually make it even more obvious. Let's square both sides. So x cubed plus 3x squared. Remember that <coughs> uh, we're only dealing from 1 to infinity, so only positive inputs, is greater than or equal to x cubed. So what we've gotten back to is a pretty obvious statement. So it's greater than x cubed, which is greater than or equal to 0 for x in 1 to infinity, which is all we need to check because that's the interval of our function. <clears throat> so we've now shown that something we know is convergent. Its integrand is greater than this integrand. So we can draw our conclusion, which is our integral 1 to infinity of dx over square root of x cubed plus 3x squared is convergent and we always want to give our reason which in this case is by comparison test and that's how we can use the comparison test to show an improper integral is convergent. doesn't show what it's convergent to, but it does show us that it is convergent. <clears throat>